Okay, so this tutorial will cover the Team Talk note within the CS Soften Practice Management Software Program. So, what are Team Talk notes? Team Talk notes are customizable pop up reminders that you can attach to a variety of accounts or patients or situations to, to help you with reminders as you go about the day. I'll show you some examples. So, first of all, to create a Team Talk note, you'll want to go over to the Team Talk setup. And here you can see, all right, well, what do I want, I want to attach the Team Talk note to? Do I want to attach it to an entire account, to an employer or school, an insurance plan, or patient specific items? So, insurance plan stuff, for example, maybe there's a specific plan that changed some details in the plan, and you want to remind every patient that you confirm or that you check in or that you check out or whatever, you want to remind them about the changes that that specific plan has made. So that's one example of how you can attach it to the entire database attached to everybody that has a specific insurance plan. Uh, another example is for patients. Here you can see you can attach uh, these custom pop-up reminders to every patient. And then if you do attach it to every patient, you can create some conditions, uh, which I'll show you. Or you can attach it to one specific patient. And then here's your drop-down list for all of your patients. Okay, For every patient, so let's say you wanted to... Uh, create a note or a pop-up reminder that for every patient that you call or that you go to confirm, here are the conditions that you can create. And this is the time frame for when you actually want to be reminded of that note. So, for example, at the next event is purely just that next time, and then that team talk note will be deleted. Uh, this is going to be always, it will always be there. Or maybe it's over just a certain date range. So the conditions, for example, you can see any patient that you call to confirm, for example, that has a balance, that's one example. If I hit next, you can select between or greater than a specific balance. So you can see the point is any patient that has a balance over $500 that you confirm in the program, it will give you a pop-up reminder. Uh, let's go back. So other conditions are, you know, if they have a birth date, any patient that uh, that has a birth date between, you know, for today, for example, um, or for a specific time period, it will give you a pop-up reminder to wish them a happy birthday. Little things like that. Um, let's see what else you can see here. Any patient with medical alerts, any patient that has missed, for example, um, greater than two appointments. Okay, so you can define what a missed appointment is in Softent. And if that patient has missed more than two or three or whatever you deem that number, you can create that pop-up reminder when you call to confirm them and just remind them to make sure that they attend the appointment. You don't want to have to charge them, whatever you want to tell them, okay? So those are all the examples, or actually some of the examples you can create when you do every patient and then create some conditions. And you can go through the software yourself and see what other options you have that would be helpful for you in the practice. The other way to do it is you can actually select just one specific patient. So let's say I wanted to create a note for Julie Ascot. Okay. So I'll select one patient. I'll find the patient I actually want to create the, uh, the note for. And let's say I want to see that note when I check in. So depending on what that note says, depending on what the content is, that will help you define when you want to actually see that note. If it's financial 
uh, details related. Maybe it's when the patient checks out. If it's clinical information, maybe it's when you enter in the chart. So you can see these are when you want to see the note, show note, when you want that note to pop up. And we'll just say for next event. And we'll just call this treatment plan. And we'll just say... Remind Julie she has an outstanding treatment plan for her crown, or whatever you want. Uh, you can play a chime if you wanted to when the pop-up uh, pops up. And at this point, all you do is uh, hit save, and then we'll hit close. So now here's Julie. So the example of how that would work is you right-click, we'll say check in, and we select that that's when we want to see the note. And as soon as we select check in, you'll see here's the pop-up reminder. Remind Julie she has an outstanding treatment plan for her crown. And then you can say, do not show this again today. So if there's an activity within the software that you hit multiple times, you don't want to constantly be, constantly be reminded about this. But um, for this, there's only one check-in, of course, so not a big deal. And then select OK. So that's how TeamTalk works. There's a variety of ways you can use it. To manage your TeamTalk notes, you'll go into TeamTalk here, General TeamTalk Lists, and you can see this will show you all of your specific TeamTalk notes that you've set up. Well, where's the one that I just set up? Well, this is listing for accounts, employer, insurance plan, patient. That's where we set ours. And under patient, here's the one that we created. So you can adjust it by double-clicking on it uh, or editing or if I want to delete it.